I'm Doreen Yu. I'm associate editor of the Philippine Star. I'm very happy in the place I'm in now as a Chinoy, as a Pinoy. Um, and I am, I've lived long enough that if anybody challenges what I am or um, tries to belittle what I am, I know enough to fight back and I know I will win because whatever prejudices they may have, I know I can counter. Um, whatever they, they decide to, to say about my being a Chinese, my being, you know, Chinoy, neither here nor there, uh, everything, all of that, I, I stand on solid ground and I, I can answer any one of them. Be sure and catch Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, presented by Chinoy TV. Hi, I'm Janina Chan. I'm a TV host. I'm a podcaster, a columnist, and a content creator. Okay, so for our family, it's kind of like a mix of both traditional and modern. But in terms of upbringing, in terms of how we were raised, me and my sister, by our parents, I think um, it is similar to most families here in the Philippines. You know, we're both um, very family-oriented. Um, I am a part of a very supportive family, so I'm also grateful that, especially my mom, she's always been supportive ever since I was um, a baby girl. <laughs> Literally started young. And I'm so grateful for um, my family's encouragement and support um, in what I do. Being part of the One Chinoy campaign is definitely such an honor and also a responsibility. <laughs> I am so happy to be here to be able to reflect as well on my identity and I feel more realigned to myself by doing so too. It's definitely been fun and I love knowing more about where I belong. I'm grateful for where I'm going onwards together as One Chinoy community. I'm inviting all of you to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Hello, I am Nicole Cordobes and I was Miss Chinatown 2014 and Binibining Pilipinas Grand International 2016. I think the biggest misconception is that we are, like, we keep to ourselves. Uh, we don't really, we're not so emotional. Because growing up in a Chinese family, we don't really say, like, we don't state our feelings. We don't show our emotions. We're not touchy at all. <laughs> and our parents don't even give us encouragement. Not that it's not entirely a bad thing, but more of they want us to stay humble. I'm really honored to be part of One Chinoy because I feel like we need to tell our story more. We need to open up a conversation more. And I know that and dami nating Chinoy community members na nagahanap ng kausap, nagahanap ng mahuhugutan ng advice. So we need to be more present. We need to be more visible. And I'm inviting you guys to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. I'm Patricia Ngo, and I'm a children's book writer here in the Philippines. Growing up, I didn't see a lot of representation of Chinois, and I think that's why I wasn't really that sure about what it meant to be Chinois. And 
Eventually, when I reached college, I learned about how culture isn't a pure and static thing. Cultures keep changing just as people do, and the Chinoy culture is just one way in which cultures kept changing. And I learned that there wasn't just one way of being Filipino. There were many ways to do so, and being Chinoy was a valid way of being Filipino. I think that this campaign is really important in helping bridge the gap between whatever miscommunications we might have with other cultures and other people. Uh, there are times when people misunderstand what it means to be Chinoy. They don't understand sometimes that the Philippines is still our home and that we are still Filipinos even with our different experiences. And I appreciate that this campaign helps bridge that gap and to clarify those misconceptions that people have. I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Hi, I'm Rob Jam. I'm an illustrator, comic book creator, um, art director, and friend. Well, I just wanted to make comics as a kid. I didn't know it could be a career. Um, I think even if you are from a Filipino family, if, they, if you tell them you want to be an artist, they're kind of afraid of it. Um, because, yeah, there is such a misconception of how you can make money in art. I know that the Filipino Chinese community or the Chinese community, it's so focused on what's sure to be a successful career path or a successful business or a successful whatever, and then art is such a thing outside of that. I feel very honored to be part of this because, um, yeah, I knew I was always a part of this community, but I've never really felt like recognition from it or that anyone in the Chinese Filipino community or Filipino Chinese community cared because, yeah, like, there's that whole expectation that they don't know much about art or they see art as just a well, waste of time, that kind of thing. And I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. My name is Stan C. I'm a radio DJ, a podcaster, a voice talent, an events host, and a writer. All things that you're not expected to be when you're Chinoy. I grew up in a traditional, stereotypical Chinese-Filipino household. So my dad is uh, pure Chinese born in the Philippines. And my mom is, uh, is literal na mestiza because my maternal grandmother uh, was Bisaya. She, uh, she came from Leyte. And the maternal grandfather, who I never met, was an immigrant from China. So I really got it all in the sense that I'm really Chinese-Filipino. And I, I can't just be one without the other. I feel privileged to be part of the One Chinoy campaign because I want to be the voice that starts these uncomfortable conversations. And it's high time that they happen because we have to look at who we are to understand where we come from. And that's a conversation that's long overdue. It's time to shock the system. And I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Hi, my name is Tim Yap. I'm a host and eventologist. I'm proud to be Chinoy because I know I come from a bloodline of hard work. Uh, I come from a, a place where tough love was the norm, where we always had to work hard to get to where we are. Uh, it was always one step at a time. Nothing was given to us on a silver platter. Thank you. 
I love being part of this One Chinoy campaign because uh, it reminds us that we are one, right? That we are in a world that's becoming so tribal and, uh, you know, into each other's, only into each other's. Uh, we need uh, reminders that, hey, we are all one and the same. And I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Uh, I'm Wilson Lee Flores. I'm in the real estate business. Also, my hobby is writing a column in Philippine Star. I also own a bakery in Quezon City. I have Chinese and I have Filipino culture. That's 100% Filipino, 100% Chinese. So I'm 200% of, of a person. I'm 200% richer as a person. It's not like... Um, yeah, there's no need to balance. I have to continuously learn to be both. Every single culture that enriches us is important. We should always analyze ourselves in order to be better human beings. And our uh, ethnic Chinese minority in the Philippines, uh, non-stop changes. We are experiencing non-stop changes every generation. We should be better. We should always strive to be better. Uh, by uh, cherishing our heritage and our values, learning from our ancestors in order to be a benefit to the Philippines. I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. The modern Chinoy. Where are you from? I said, I'm from the Philippines. But how come you speak Chinese? So there's always that mm, ambiguity. Are you really Filipino or are you Chinese? I've been asking questions all my life, like, am I Filipino enough or am I Chinese enough? And then my uncle looks at me, you do TV? Hello, you're so sinkip. So, meaning ba pag singkit, hindi ka pwede mag-TV? At that time, it was at the height of the island dispute and uh, the Chinois have been at the middle of the crossfire between the Chinese and the Filipinos. So because of that, we decided to address this because um, at that time, a lot of people are confused in terms of the loyalty of the Chinois here. Where does your nationalism or your patriotism lie? Does it lie with where your ancestors come from? Or does it lie with where you were born and raised? So our money legals always ask, Nami great wall boy family. Funnily enough, I have never really dated a lot of Chinese girls. They scare me. <laughs> I really would like to grow up like a normal child. I really would like to go to the mall, watch a movie. But had it not been for this training of my parents, I would not be where I am today. We should not lose out our Asian heritage. Yun ang fear ko, yun ang worry ko is uh, it's easy to lose out our Asianness by all these overwhelming Western cultural influences. I want to be the voice that starts these uncomfortable conversations and it's high time that they happen because we have to look at who we are to understand where we come from. No matter how it is run, this is our country. It is our lupang hinirang. We are just in one country, we are in one boat. Do not say why me, just say why not me.
Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain. I'm Chinese by blood. My parents, my grandparents, my great-grandparents are all Chinese. I was born here, I was raised here, so I'm a Filipino. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. It is a topic very close to me and it is part of what I wrote about in That's It Pansit. The book is about a young girl named Lily. She is Chinoy and she has two of many things. She has two names, two birthdays, two New Year celebrations. Like Lily, I have Chinese roots, but the Philippines is my home. If you're going to look at my family history, my family genealogy, I am of Chinese ethnicity, but I am Filipino. My, my nationality is Filipino. I have a Filipino passport. I'm already fourth generation Chinese Filipino. If you look back, you can already think of how my upbringing and values are kind of passed down from generation to generation. It's not I'm half Chinese, I'm half Filipino. I'm Chinese, I'm Filipino. So instead of 50, I, I come up with 200, 100 plus 100. Like you are 100% Filipino in culture and identity, you are also 100% Chinese in culture and heritage. It's the best of both worlds. Even the wording of Chinese Filipino for me is very particular. Notice that I never refer to myself as Phil Chai or Filipino Chinese. It's always Chinese Filipino. Chinese being the antecedent and Filipino being the noun. That is because I am a Filipino of Chinese descent. That's also why I identify as Chinoy, Chinese Filipino. Pinoy is the noun and China or Chino is the adjective. I'm a grammarian. The noun is Filipino. The Chino is the adjective, and it's not the other way around. It's difficult to find one defining moment that, that told me that I'm Chinoy. My great-grandfather came here many, many, many years ago as, as a blacksmith. Then my grandfather came and set up a business with his brothers and his cousins. And even perhaps for my father, they all had the option of going back to China. After the war, you know, we had a hardware store. So the rebuilding, the reconstruction after the war the business was very successful. By that time, my uncles and my father decided that we would be naturalists, we would become Filipino. Thinking back, that was perhaps one moment when we decided that this was going to be home. China was no longer home. So a lot of people forget that I'm Chinese and they don't believe that I'm Chinese because, of course, we have this idea in our heads that Chinita dapa, singkit, porcelain skin, and I'm morena, I have big eyes. People actually think I'm Spanish or sometimes European. Wow. <laughs> but once I speak in fluent Chinese, yeah, I blow their socks off. <laughs>
Wow. All the artworks. Kabe. Every time I drawing or coloring contest, my contest did come for everything that happens. Okay, let's go in. Okay. This reminds me of Mangana. Tyla, she tau ad. Did you have those? Oh, yeah. Aloga, Filipino. Are you para para ming salamat po? Mangana. Just the way that we're seated. Parang tayong classmates na nakikipagchismisan tayo. So sige, chismis na kita. Let me ask you this: Did you ever feel like we were in a bubble? Because de ba mga Chinese schools, we just keep to ourselves. Lahat tayo halos magkakamuka. Did it ever feel like that to you? Actually, now zooming out on everything, when I look back, I thought na yun na yun. <laughs> Even now that I'm much mature, mature, I know more about the world. I've been out there. <laughs> now zooming out. Wow, we're such a minority pala. Ang konti lang pala natin. I thought that was it. That was my whole world. I didn't even know there was a difference with our cultures because that's all I ever knew. And everyone else beside me, that's also all they ever knew. Mm. I've been asking questions all my life like, am I Filipino enough or am I Chinese enough? And it's always been a question of aling side yung manana egg over the other. It's very tricky and complicated because identity is very arbitrary. I grew up in a traditional, stereotypical Chinese-Filipino household. So my dad is pure Chinese born in the Philippines. And my mom is, uh, is literal na mestiza because mother, so my guama or my maternal grandmother, Bisaya, she, uh, she came from Leyte. And yung maternal grandfather ko, who I never met, was an immigrant from China. So I really got it all in the sense na talagang Chinese Filipino ako and I, I can't just be one without the other and I think that's something that for my generation struggle with but they have a hard time expressing it because there, there's always that push and pull na ano ka ba talaga and it doesn't help that the current political climate puts us in a situation where you have to choose Way back 2018, Chinoy TV in partnership with So Asian Comics organized a campaign called I Am Chinoy, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. At that time, it was at the height of the island dispute and uh, the Chinois have been at the middle of the crossfire between the Chinese and the Filipinos. So because of that, we decided to come up with a campaign which aims to address this because at that time, a lot of people are confused in terms of the loyalty of the Chinois here. The idea behind the slogan, Chinese by blood and Filipino by heart, stems from my personal experiences working in a non-traditional Chinoy career path, where I would usually get questions such as, Cedric, where does your nationalism or your patriotism lie? Does it lie with where your ancestors come from? Or does it lie with where you were born and raised? The issues going on with China, meaning the government in, in Beijing, and, and their policies worldwide with regards to, to the South China Sea, with regards to the virus. I know there have been questions on our loyalties. That, you know, kung guerra, which side will we, will we fight for? So the fact that that even has to be asked really underscores a confusion. And I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it comes from a place of misinformation or a lack of education na lahat ng my Chinese ethnicity e automatically e pro-China. Some years ago, uh, I was asked to participate in a survey. One of the questions I was asked that, that stuck to my mind was, if there was a basketball game between the Philippines and China, who would I cheer for? Okay, I said, no brainer, of course I cheer for the Philippines. But then, you know, if it's like between China and, say, Serbia or China and uh, Spain or something, it's a good ride cheer for China. I hope doubts like that will lessen. I know it won't maybe totally go away. I know one national artist stirred up a hornet by implying that the Chinois here, when it comes to Bakbakan, will, all of us will suddenly fight on China's side. That's baloney. Well, maybe, you know, there are some, maybe out of how many Chinois we are here, siguro, I don't know, maybe 35, 37 will fight for China. Go ahead. 
but the bulk of us will wave our beautiful flag. When my family and a lot of other Chinese had nowhere to go, because 1949 happened in China, and before that there, there was famine, life was very hard in southern China, they came over here and the Philippines gave us a hope. We had nowhere to go. We came to the Philippines, we, we found a home, we started up a business, and we made a life here. The Philippines gave my family a home. I'm a Filipino. What my, my family, my ethnic roots, they just enrich my being a Filipino. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center Evergreen Cereal AgriPro, Premier Nutrition Incorporated Global Diesel and GU Engineering H&E Manufacturing Corporation Vecco Paper Corporation Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner Japan Parts Trading Center BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific Chua Bank Kang Alejandro Ko Jimmy C Nung Family Li Pue Chin Chan Kwan Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart Let's get real for a bit. So, since we're enjoying our drinks in simple. our company with, you know, without, with our masks off. Are there some stereotypes or misconceptions that hindi talaga misconceptions but are, I guess, sadly true? I wouldn't say entirely or sadly true. true. Pero <laughs> may eron eh. So like, ako, yeah, nung, ano, yeah. when I went to UP, that's when I felt it. Kasi okay. I showed up with long hair. And I dyed it a la F4 because I loved F4 growing wow, up. Wow, I love and then, F4. Dao Ming Tzu. Yeah, right? So like, I wore red pa. So talagang, I really doubled down on being Chinese. Why hindi ko rin maalala? But the first question I got was, uh, hot, no? Hot? Really hot? As Kala nila hindi ako tatagalog. Yes! Tapos sabi ko, sabi ko, oh, ang init, P.I. Napagano na ako just to shock them talaga. And it was so hilarious seeing the reaction from them. When I entered college and when I started working, I learned more about how being Chinoy was sometimes viewed as strange by other people. There were times when people would ask me questions like, did I have lanterns in my house that I could bring for our Chinese New Year celebration, despite not living in an actual temple? And there were instances where people would ask me how things were in my country. And it was strange for me because we were both Filipino. We lived in the same country. Why would my country be different from that the person I was talking to was living in? I realized that there were many things that people didn't understand about Chinoy. I started out in the theater, so I was always uh, auditioning for roles. I was always wanting to be on stage, wanting to be part of that world. When I was a little kid and I got this part, it was a lead role in a, in a big theatrical show at the time. The director told me, Hey, you're so cold on stage. You're like last year's Hopia. And I said, Hopia? Why was I called Hopia? Hmm. Kalimutan ko Chinese ako. Kasi yun pala, that's why I was asked. I was called a Hopia. I wasn't called Utubongbong, Ubibingka, or I don't know, Burger. It was a point where I got really hurt because it was used as an insult. Since I belong to a generation that's more modern already, I think the biggest misconception is that like we keep to ourselves, we're not so emotional. Because growing up in a Chinese family, 
we don't really say, <laughs> like we don't state our feelings. They don't even hug. A lot of them sometimes are not even touchy, you know. So when I first like hugged my mom, it's like, parang it was na it was. We don't really express so much because most of the ways you show love is by actions, acts of service. You know, you know that you will do anything for your loved one, but you don't even say it, you know, because I don't know. It's just na not something that you grew up with. Well, I was born in 1958 in uh, the city of Manila, in the district of Binondo. Well, it was very traditional in the sense that everybody else around me at that time were all Chinese, of Chinese heritage. I was just 10 years old at that time. Little did I know that one day, with my MBA degree and teaching experience, I would end up doing a restaurant business and bakery. And then over the years, I realized that um, if there's one business I wanted to enter into, it should be one business that I would have a lot of knowledge about. I could develop it myself. So for 32 years now, since 1989, I seem to have been blessed with opportunities year after year. It is no secret that everybody has been impacted by the pandemic. It's just a matter of degree. We just go out in the morning trying to feel hopeful, come home at night feeling a little let, less hopeful. But tomorrow, as long as the sun shines, business will have to go on. For many years now, Globe Business has become our brand of choice because it has given us a lot of opportunities to improve our digital connectivity and our ability to react to day-to-day -day operations within our store network. Our store network is already reaching more than 100 and we need to be connected daily, hourly, weekly, and timely reports need to be sent. Control systems have to be in place and the, the importance of connectivity cannot be overemphasized. The future, as they said, is VUCA, V-U-C-A. Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Well, with VUCA around, one thing is certain, life. People need our products. People need our healthy breads. People love our artisan breads at L'Artisan and our everyday breads from French Baker. What is important would be all of the systems that will provide me means or ways in which to be able to plan well for tomorrow's production. Today, next week is a little bit too long already. So without digital solutions to allow us to connect, I do not know how to run my business in this VUCA world. I'm John Lukoa, I'm the founder and CEO of the French Baker Group, which includes L'Artisan French uh, Restaurant Bakery. Through the changing times, tuloy tayo SMEs! Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Canis Prime Adult Dog Food. Feed them with love. PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin Evergreen Cereal AgriPro Premier Nutrition Incorporated Global Diesel and GU Engineering H&E Manufacturing Corporation Vecco Paper Corporation Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Ford Tractor Philippines your long-term agriculture partner, BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia-Pacific, Chua Beng Tang, Alejandro Ko, Jimmy C, Nang Family, Wu Chongzhen, Enrique Chua,
Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Tatabi ko to because I do not use chopsticks all the time. <laughs> Stereotype, di ba? Okay. Oh, Chinese guy, you probably use chopsticks all the time. Not always the case. Thank you. It but does, I really don't mind like the Chinese food. I love Chinese food. So like a modern Chinoy, I would just scoop it up. Pagagalitan yes. ako ng ating mga elders. But I don't care because that's how I eat my Xiaolong Pao. Speaking of which, do you think there is such a thing as a modern Chinoy? Pa. So or I think does it is it like a double double filtration Chinoy and then modern? Feeling ko loaded siya kasi loaded nga, when no? you say na modern Chinoy, merong connotation na yung previous generation na pag-iwanan na or matanda na or parang okay boomer. Yeah. Right? So there's okay, that boomer. connotation. <laughs> Let, let's face it, 'di ba? Like our parents come from the boomer generation naman talaga eh. Tama. Um but I think that there is a modern Chinoy because there are things na pinahahalagahan nila na for us maybe it's not as important anymore. I see a lot of modern Chinois everywhere, from within my family to my friends, stepping out of their comfort zones, knowing what they want, and going for it. Being a modern Chinoy is also somebody who I think is willing to be someone outside of the blueprint that's been laid out for them. Your Chinoyness isn't judged by how much of it is in your blood, how much of the language do you know? How much of the traditions you're familiar with? Even if you're someone who's distant, but you want to get in touch with your Chinoy roots because your great-grandparents were Chinois, then for me, you are Chinoy. The modern Chinoy is not afraid to be loud, is not afraid to make their voice heard. I'm proud to be Chinoy because I know I come from a bloodline of hard work. I come from a place where tough love was the norm where we always had to work hard to get to where we are. I'm proud to be Chinoy because I know that there's a rich history behind me that is largely still unearthed. And being Chinoy means that you get to see the good and the bad of both sides. You get to live in a multicultural setup. And that's not something everybody can enjoy. You know what? I'm getting hungry. Sobrang dito na usapan. Let's eat. Let's dig in. The Chinoy culture isn't a country club where you have to fulfill the, these requirements in order to be part of it. It's a culture that is part of Philippine history and that it has to be preserved and it, that, and it has to be passed down by anyone who identifies as Chinoy. The younger generation Chinois, they're really assimilated, I believe, into Philippine life, uh, Philippine culture. A lot of them don't even really speak either Hokkien or, or Putonghua anymore. If they speak Putonghua, it's learned in school. It, it's a learned language, like you learn Spanish or French or, or whatever. I think for our generation, the challenge is how to still retain our Chinese culture and not lose it. I think among the Chinese in Asia, since before up to now, we are the most westernized. So we don't, we should not lose out our Asian heritage. Yun ang fear ko, yun ang worry ko is uh, it's easy to lose out our Asian-ness by all these overwhelming Western cultural influences. Some of the elders or some of the parents bequeath wealth, bequeath companies, but the most important thing parents could give to the children, the values and the culture. Those are priceless and those cannot be Stolen. For this season, Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart, discover modern Chinoy. The goal of the show is to actually feature different Chinois from all walks of life who can share about their stories of inspiration, success, failures, triumphs, challenges, in order for the audience to better appreciate and understand the Chinoy community. One of the key messages of this documentary is to really strengthen the bond and understanding between the Chinese and the Filipino community. At the same time, create a model that would actually guide the next generation Chinois on how they should live their lives in the years to come.
you know, learn from both. And for crying out loud, enjoy both. Eat pancit and eat adobo. They're not exclusive. They're both inclusive. This, this, this pot of yours will be so much richer if you embrace both. Nana! Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy was brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain.